Don in London, hello, September the 4th, 2009. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, alcoholic, now in recovery, one day at a time. And behaviour, my behaviour over the years, trying to be the best I could, perfect. Workaholic, relationshipaholic, starting them, not knowing or understanding where I was going with them. And no clear plan. And maybe the confusion lay in not knowing who I was more than anything and not quite sure of my place in the world and the difficulty is when we don't know or understand that we have a right to be here let alone live or fear what is going on around us because we just don't understand it or we don't understand the rules of the game if it is a game then life gets difficult and it took me a long long time to realize that uh, what I was using to cope with my dilemmas over the years that is to take the edge off and uh, feel happy and I suppose convivial and joyful and then sad as life affords and still not knowing quite who I was and where I was going so th th the interesting thing is I've learned that it's not the destination often it's the journey and the endeavor on the way so why don't I drink any more well I got to a place where I couldn't stop 24-7 and life was completely unmanageable and I was powerless over what was going on and now I realize I've always been powerless and most people are around influencing or controlling and manipulating other elements of life that is people places and things so if I realize people places and things are just where they are today and I can make choices around what is going on and what I prefer to do or need to do rather than want or yearn for just cover the needs and work out a daily plan, a life plan, one day long, then I have the ability to make better decisions and better choices. That doesn't mean I'm going to rule the world or my environment. It means I'm going to get on with what is, rather than what I wish it were, or wish it was, or had been. So the gift, the gift in all of this, is to get my equilibrium back on a daily basis. And it's taken a while to, for the fog to clear only to be reintroduced to misty times where you don't know where you are you don't know what's going on but it's okay because in your own heart and in your own mind there is a place of serenity and serenity is accepting life as is so what helps me family community society professionals and I need to put sober first so I can engage in all those elements of living and what helps me there is fellowship, the fellowship of AA Alcoholics Anonymous. And I have to reflect that I, I did visit one or two sites yesterday which were not for AA. In fact, they were right, I suppose. They didn't want to know about AA. And if they could, they would knock it or say it was full of dogma, cult, isms, things which would get in the way of being a free person. And the gift is, when I go to AA meetings, which is most days, I see and hear people who have a life back, who are generally okay and normal and quite ordinary and extraordinary in being ordinary and being able to live life as it is. So what's the difference for me? Well, AA works for me, won't work for everybody, everybody has a different view. But it was amply shown last night or amplified last night to me that there are some things in fellowship which actually make it very, very strong. It's a very broad base we only have one similarity for going there and that's a desire not to drink on a daily basis and I heard every sort of belief last night from people who believe in God to people who don't believe in God from people who believe in a certain type of politics to other people who have no politics and no, no outlook in that respect from people very concerned about global warming, warming to those who don't even know what global warming is but they all have one thing in common they're making life work one day at a time and staying sober so something works in AA and uh, you know people think it's about miserable sad people who haven't got a life anymore and that would be true probably of most people 100% of people coming to AA they realize they have a malady which they cannot get over and it won't go away so there is a daily plan don't drink one day at a time and that's how it works one day just one day not a lifetime because you never know what's around the corner and that was also illustrated clearly to me when my uh, near neighbor's partner died of this malady they just didn't wake up and nobody knows quite what happened but it did involve a long long time trying not to drink 
and trying not to do things which were harmful to themselves. A very amiable, happy, go lucky sort of person, but inside striving for a different way of life and happiness. No more. And, uh, you know, my life's been extended a little bit simply by not drinking one day at a time. So I'm very fortunate. And I go to AA simply because it does give me ex experience, strength, and hope on a daily basis. So uh, there's a statement in AA shared at every meeting, and it's the, it's the bedrock, really, meetings. And this statement really illustrates what it can and cannot do. So here we go. Alcoholics Anonymous. It's a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues, there are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And when I say that, it, it illustrates that I do not speak for AA. There are no leaders as such, but there are people who take a lead for themselves. And the gift is, every single person in AA is unique and authentic, and they have their own unique, authentic outlook. What they utilise is a 12-step uh, action programme which is interpreted by the individual to make life work one day. So, what's the gift? Well, the gift is we have expression, freedom, and the sanctuary inside the meetings and the rooms of AA and the people of AA to keep a place where we can, we can share our truth. And in sharing our truth under the cloak of anonymity, it means we hopefully are not judged by society for all the things we need to put right in our own minds before sharing it with other people. And it's a, cho it's a personal choice. Anonymity is a personal choice to be in fellowship. It's a personal choice how the program can work for a person. And it works for me because I am allowed to be me. Simply that. And there are many views and beliefs in AA as there are people. So if you do need to stop drinking because it's doing you harm and damage and you can't stop or control it, what better way forward to find yourself on a daily basis? Make your personal choices. Be unique. Be authentic. Take on some ideas about how to live without drink. And the process of the 12 steps keeps on working. It's a, a life experience. Experiencing living a program which works. And it works for me. Uh, not because other people tell me what to do. Not because I tell other people what to do. But I just share experience, strength and hope. And I've gone on already, it's eight minutes. But you know what, one, the most important thing for me, and I'm not even going to get to the readings today, but they are important, so I may do another video about those. The most important thing for me in the last 24 hours and this week is to see that people don't make it often to the rooms of AA simply because they are so tormented by their situation. So, when I go to a meeting last night where there is every opinion, every belief, every expression of, and the place where you can share it and you won't be judged or if you are judged it doesn't matter because nobody's going to come up to you and say you've got to do it my way they may they may have a go but that's life but in the end it's a safe place to be yourself and maybe I'm saying this simply because of the videos I saw yesterday and also my experiences this week so I'm a fan I don't want anybody to be turned away and they're not nor put off because you hear things which you don't like. We all hear things we don't like all day long, like, why can't you stop drinking? So, you know, the gift for me is that if you really, really have a desire not to drink on a daily basis, there are many ways to learn. AA is one, there's professionals out there, different organisations, and a load of quackery as well. It's just the way of life. We have politicians, and they're full of quackery. Just look what they've done to our planet and our economic system and us as people so there we go a bit of sanctimony on a friday morning but i say to myself the serenity prayer god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change all that stuff uh, courage to change the things i can what's going on in my head and the wisdom to know the difference simply for today and another video will follow